Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Grounded video. So we're going to take a little bit of a trip down memory lane here and go back to my very first save on Grounded and uh, get into the bases. We're going to take a look at, I think, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five and a half uh, bases in this one. So I haven't played this one in a while, so give me a break on the armor, durability, and stuff like that. Uh, we're a little hurting, but we're going to jump right into it. And let's look at our humble beginnings from our first base build in, uh, in Grounded here. And you can see it right over here, a little hovel uh, right next to Mysterious Machine where a lot of people build their first base. Um, I knew nothing about getting it up higher. Uh, at this point, red ants were still coming over here and bugging me. So we did build uh, some exterior walls, as you can see, just out of the grass walls. And this is before I even knew about weed stems or anything like that. So we just have our little perimeter here. Uh, we put some lights out because I didn't know what was coming out at night. Uh, you can see nature is kind of taking over here a little bit. I did want to build right next to the sap because uh, I thought sap was pretty important. So let's just take a look inside. We did have a garden patch right here, so that's why these mushrooms are kind of floating. Uh, I guess they did away with that. So let's take a look inside at this uh, this miserable little uh, example of a base here. So the one thing I knew is that the ants were trying to come in, so I did build this little platform to get our food up a little higher. Um, I didn't build any floors. I didn't know you could. So this is literally like basic bare bones. We got a little uh, our little staircase up here, and the roof building was a challenge for me. I, I was sh I'm sh surprised I was able to get that stuff up. So we just have basics in here. We got a little lean to. You see, we got gaps in the walls here. We have our workbench. Don't even know what's in here. I actually, got quite a bit of uh, resources in there. Our smoothie machine. We have a little chair. We've got our roasting spit, and we have an empty uh, water container there. You can see we've kind of let nature just take this one over. We're not coming back here anytime soon unless I just need a quick nap in the lean-to or something. So that's our first little hovel. So don't be ashamed if you guys have something worse than that. Uh, I doubt it. But that's our basic one. We don't even have a front door. Jeez. I don't even have a proper gate or anything. So, all right. We're going to jump over to our second uh, base. It's going to be over by the uh, pond. So let's go jump over and take a look at that. All right, so we're over here near the pond. I just want to show you guys something I was doing early on uh, dealing with these wolf spiders. So I built a little um, contraption here to kind of trap them in, and I built a little door just so I could sit there and shoot arrows at them. Back then, the wolf spiders wouldn't really do anything. They would just kind of sit there and take it. Now they run out and come and chase you. So you may see that in some of the previous videos I've done. And then you can see our base over here at the uh, Raspberry Puncho box. So we got a little crazy with this one, and we decided to build a super, hall, uh, super tall tower with a little, uh, like, basically log cabin at the top. So you can see all the zip lines. We went a little crazy with zip lines and everything, and this one was in, uh, I did a base tour of this one a little bit a long time ago. So let's just go, uh, go check it out and take a little uh, look inside. I don't think this one has many more um, advancements or anything with it. Like I said, I haven't done much with this, uh, this play in a while. You can see here, we tried to have a lot of defenses for these wolf spiders and everything else that was coming around. So we did get our little water containers in here to fill up. Obviously not working too well right now because I'm never in here. You can see all these spike strips on the outside here. I did not want anything getting into my base. And this is right around the time I figured out that you could build with uh, weed stems. But I didn't want to go ahead and redo every single part of the uh, grass wall, so... You can see the outside. We still try to use a little bit of building integrity on the uh, on the the wraparound porch that we have here. And then back here we've got our little uh, pond uh, deck. So we've got this little area that we can jump up into right here. We've got our our, uh, our underwater equipment right here, so we can just uh, throw it on and throw it off. And again, the base defenses. We did start using stem walls a little bit. You can see just to try to keep everything out. So. This was going to be a little garden area that I was going to use, but I didn't do anything with it, so it's just a little extra room. And this was my little uh, my little defense area, too. So I would pull out my bow, and when wolf spiders got close, I could sit right here and see through this little gap and shoot them and get them away. You see, we just got some food right there. It sounded like an aphid ran into our spike trap, so... Again, grass walls, nothing really going on down here. This was all my, uh, my stock area, where I would just put all my resources, building resources and stuff. And we get up to our second floor, so we've got everything in here. Basically all our different armors, all our chests and everything, spinning wheels, all this st little stuff. And we just had this little area where I moved the uh, garden patches out here. 
And then again, I wanted this wraparound porch just so I could see on the outside. So I didn't really have a lot of windows. But another way for me to uh, fend off wolf spiders if they were getting close. So this wraparound porch goes all the way around. We've got a little deck area back here. We've got some seats and a table for viewing. Just kind of relaxing, looking at the pond at night. And then our jerky racks here, so... Now we can go take a look at the uh, the tall tower that we've uh, built over here, this monstrosity that we have. So you can see all the zip lines. We'll hit those up, um, heading to our next bases. So that's just zip line access right here. So warning right here, if you do get queasy, then might want to skip ahead, but we're going to head up these spiral stairs all the way to the top. I had plans for this up here to build a, a little base, but it just wasn't practical to be able to come up here and, uh, and really do anything, so... Just got our little basic storage. We'll go up in here. And this is just our little bedroom right here. So, obviously the big thing with this one was to, uh, our little diving board off the edge here. Just to have a really tall base. That's basically the only reason I did this. I didn't, at the time when I was uh, making this, I didn't see a lot of people building really tall bases. So, that was the reason I wanted a uh, bird's eye view. Basically to look at the whole backyard. And, uh, that's pretty much it with this one, so... All right, we're going to go ahead and zip over to our bird bath uh, base. You can see we got a zip line over here, right on the side of the bird bath. So we'll take our zip line, our super slow zip line, and we'll meet you guys over there. All right, so the sun's coming up over here at our bird bath base. Uh, you can see this monstrosity. This started out as just a little uh, lean-to with some stuff that I wanted just to, uh, when I was coming over to the hedge, to have a place to cook food and sleep and stuff like that. And then I decided, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and build a whole base. So you can see right here. Again, we went tall. I don't know why I was in this uh, idea to build tall. I think after my first base, I was like, you know what? Nothing can get me if I'm up top. I was a little mistaken on this one. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside and uh, see how ugly and disgusting this base is. Obviously, we got the weed stems going, so that's a start. Do have uh, some mushrooms growing out here, obviously, because we needed them, even though there's mushrooms right here. Got our little sap collector. So this one served a little bit more of a purpose than uh, just a place to sleep too. So you can see we got our storage and workbench and everything in here. We have a jerky rack off in the corner. We we'll go up to the next area. It's just our water and our little roasting spit. We got a water container there and our lean to. Another jerky rack in the corner. And again, I just built tall and I was really in a mood to use uh, the acorn spiral stairs. I don't know why. So again, we're going up our spiral stairs. More storage there. This was a late addition because I needed a way to get over here faster, so we did build a little uh, zip line area right here. And you can see with our building integrity on, obviously, we've got support underneath our large room up there that is yet to be finished. So we'll keep climbing up here. This is our uh, bedroom area that we uh, have not finished yet. Obviously, another, another place with uh, some really good views, you know, of the whole backyard there. You can hear that uh, in the distance there. So the higher we go up to get away from the insects, the closer we get to some more difficult insects. But we are at the top of the bird bath, which uh, made it real easy to get berries and stuff like that and be able to climb into the hedge. And again, more zip lines. So that was our bird bath base. We did come up here and do this later too. We built a little uh, area to have our zip lines because we needed height. So it wasn't going to be so slow. So, all right, we're going to jump over to our third major base, our fourth one on this save. So we'll be right back. All right, so before we get over to that other base, I wanted to show you guys real quick what I had to do here because uh, I was all about the zip lines. So we had to build a hub to get from one place to another. So right over here by the mysterious machine, this is where I built our little zip line uh, connection tower. Basically, our one stop that connects the, the majority of the bases from one to the other. So you can see we climb up here again, got to get high because you need speed. So we've got one from here going over to our mushroom base over there. And then this one will go from the top of our base over there to here. So, and then going up even higher, this one is going to take us to the pond base and then down over to our base over there. So, all right, that's it. Now we're going to head over to our uh, base over against the wall here and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here at our rock wall base, and you can see we've got some noisy neighbors over here. Uh, they basically try to take this area over as their own. So they're going to be a little annoying, but we'll be out of here in a second. 
So this one, again, I just wanted to build tall. This was more to be able to go up there and get the uh, charcoal when the grill was placed over here. So you can see, same thing, basic premise. Uh, we've got our storage on the bottom. You know, we come up here, we've got our little workbench and stuff like that. We've got some spinning wheels. They're gonna sit here and try to destroy my base. And here they come. So we're gonna get out of here. Basically, we just keep going up and up and up. Nothing too special about this base. Like I said, this is basically an area that I was just building up to be able to get to the charcoal and then I get out of here. And then I just ended up turning it into a little base, so. All right, so that's it for this one. We're gonna head over to our mushroom base and show you guys that one. And then we've got one more little half base over by the sandbox and we'll wrap it up here. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're over here. This is our little mushroom mansion. This one's not even finished yet. Uh, this is the one that we are still working on. This we did right after Hot and Hazy came and uh, we were able to use mushroom bricks. So before this area got inundated with uh, stink bugs and bombardier beetles and everything, we had a little pet area down here under the rock. So you can see this is a big flat rock and it was uh, actually a really good uh, building spot. Let's jump down there and see if we can avoid these insects and uh, take a look at it. So this used to be our little pet home, but it's uh, changed a little bit. As you can see, we've got, I think a stink bug and a bombardier beetle down here hanging out now. So we're just gonna leave them in there. We'll go take a look at our base real quick. Obviously, a lot of friendly neighbors over here. So we built our palisade gates. Got a little step here just to be able to take a look and uh, snipe things when they're farther away. So we're getting a little attacked a little bit by our neighbor here. So you want base raids, here you go. Just build a place where the insects uh, are active. All right, so in the front door here, again, we've got our little work area set up, obviously. And then up here, we've got our jerky racks for berry leather and uh, for food and everything. Our water areas. Now, we built a little uh, pet pen over here, but again, pets can't follow you, so that's uh, kind of pointless. So our little mushroom factory in here we got going on. And then uh, going up here, we actually did build some rooms and everything for uh, sleeping and stuff. So we got a little smoothie, smoothie station right there. When we come up in here, we've got our, uh, our ladybug room. So we got a nice little bed in here and everything. We've got our uh, soldier ant room. Same thing in here. That's some nice little decor. Over here we have our uh, our spider room. So we've got a stink bug, our firefly, and then our bedroom right there. The other thing I did over here is uh, was building up, obviously, because I wanted zip line access to everything. So again, we go with the spiral stairs. Run it up here. So we got our little garden area over here. We got some more storage. Let me come over through here. We got zip line access right here. And we come up some more spiral stairs over here. And then we have our other uh, other zip line access right here. So again, unfinished, but that's where we are going with this mushroom base. So, all right, we're going to jump over to our little sandbox uh, oasis area that we've built and uh, we'll finish it up. So we'll see you guys over there. Oh, real quick as we leave this base, I just wanted to show you guys this. We do have this palisade gates all the way around this. And uh, we do have our back little back door area over here to get down. And so again, both sides of under the rock, we uh, we blocked in because we wanted our pets to be there. But because the stink bugs, soldier ants, and uh, bombardier beetles took over this area, we kind of just left it at is, as it is. So, all right, now we'll head over there. All right, our last little base build is right over here at the corner of the sandbox by the juice box. And uh, I've done this in most of my games now just to have another way to access the sandbox rather than going through the ant hill. So we've got this little guy just built up here. Uh, you get free juice basically and uh, you can get access to the sandbox. So this is just a little uh, little area that I built for the uh, black ant hill and for the sandbox. So just right on top of this juice box, pretty basic. We've got storage, we've got water, we've got a place to sleep. Uh, got a couple uh, roasting spits over here with some food on it. So this is just something that I've always done now. Like I said, just to have another way to access the, uh, we've got our water up here as well, jerky rack. Just have another way up here to get on top of the sandbox because it's a lot easier than trying to go through the black ant hill especially if you want to get in here without doing the black ant hill yet so that's all we got for our base builds guys uh what do you think good bad ugly terrible so i've shown you some of mine so let's see some of yours go ahead and join the discord there'll be a link in the description of the video go ahead and join that discord go to the grounded uh base building and then submit a video or if you have it on youtube go ahead and share the link down in there we'll take a look at some of your guys base builds and hopefully get a video done on them soon so 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and comment. Let me know down below and uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And so we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay original, my friends. Later.